Hi, and welcome to my channel, Modern Modiste. If you'd like to see how I turned this $5 thrifted dress into this cute romper, keep watching. I bought this dress from Unique Thrift Store during their 50% off sale and got this $10 dress for only $5. I started by cutting the skirt off the dress half inch under the seam that joined the skirt portion of the dress to the top portion of the dress. I measured my elastic around my waist making sure to pull it snug and a little tight then cut leaving half inch seam allowance on each end. I pinned the center of the elastic to the center back of my top on a seam where the skirt and top were joined. Then I pinned the two ends of the elastic to the center front of the top. I sewed the elastic on with a zigzag stitch while stretching the elastic to the length of the top from pen to pen. Here's how it looks once the elastic is added. I traced this pair of wide fit pants I made a couple years ago onto the skirt fabric. And then folded the pants the opposite way and traced. I traced a straight line across the bottom, then measured up from the crotch 14 inches. I got this measurement from measuring from my crotch to where the top ended when I tried it on and added 5 inches to that. I then cut the shorts out leaving half inch seam allowance on the sides. I then pinned the two front short pieces together and the two back short pieces together right sides facing along the center crotch edge. I sewed with a straight stitch then finished the edge with a zigzag stitch. Then I pinned the front short piece and the back short piece together and sewed down the inner legs and down the sides. I only zigzag stitched about 5 inches down the sides from the top so I could alter the shorts before finishing the raw edge if necessary.
With the shorts inside out, I pushed the top, which is right side out, into the shorts to attach the shorts to the top. I lined up the center fronts and backs and side seams and pinned the shorts to the top. I stretched the elastic portion of the top to the length of the shorts while sewing the two together. I then tried on the romper to make sure I liked the fit and decided to shorten the shorts before adding the ruffles. After cutting the shorts to my desired length, I finished the raw edges with a zigzag stitch before adding the ruffle. For the short ruffles, I cut an angled strip of fabric on the fold along the bottom of the skirt, which is already hemmed. This strip of fabric is about the length of the leg of my shorts, edge times 1.5. I cut two for each leg. I sold the sides of my folded strip of fabric to create a full circle. Then I sold a long straight stitch across the top edge, back stitching one end but not the other together. leaving a long enough thread on the end to pull together. I gathered the fabric by pulling the top thread while pulling the fabric with the other hand. Until my fabric was the length of the short's edge, making sure the gather was evenly distributed. Lining up the side seams, I pinned the ruffle to my shorts, right sides facing, and sewed. Then I repeated with the other leg. For the ruffle sleeve, I cut four strips of fabric, two for each sleeve, angled again like the short ruffles, then sewed down the two short sides, hemmed the bottom edge with a double fold, and sewed a long straight stitch across the top, back stitching one end but not the other together. I decided to shorten the sleeve first before adding the ruffle. I then gathered the ruffle fabric, just like I gathered the ruffle for the shorts. And pinned to the sleeve right sides facing, lining up the side seams. I finished the ruffle sleeve by top stitching. Then repeat it on the other sleeve. This is how it looks finished.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you have any requests, anything you want to see. Thank you for watching. Bye.